Good evening. I have a trip coming up. My last vacation, it was super fun, but it was really fast paced. Uh, we got a lot done, it was successful, but this time I hope to succeed at relaxing a lot. That's what this vacation is gonna be all about. So here's what I'm bringing to read, not that notebook. Uh, this, Kindle. Nah, just kidding, that's not all, but here's what I've got for Kindle so far. Um, probably gonna start this interview, you know, should be fun. Uh, I also have Dune. Oops. Okay, whatever. Dune. I have the big paperback copy of it. And, you know, I always heard, like, people like long paperbacks to bring traveling. Um, I also have the physical version. But I'd rather travel not bulky. So, Kindle, you know? Speaking of, I also... <laughs> I also have the really nice floppy physical edition of Interview with the Vampire. You know, same cover and everything. But why ruin it? Kindle. Okay, so let's see what else. Also, my wife and I might read this one together. As in like, you know, like a two-person book club. Not like we're reading it to each other. I don't know. We don't do that. If you do that, cool. I, that's just not what I meant. <laughs> so we might start that, but I don't know if she'll want to start that on this trip. Um... I straight up just might reread this because I've wanted to do a video on it for like a minute now and just never did. Um, I love this graphic novel so much and it reads really nicely on the Kindle app. <clears throat> so, you know, probably won't be my actual Kindle. It'll probably be on my Galaxy Fold on the Kindle app. It's just so nice. But uh, I suppose when I'm saying read nicely, what I mean is even on a small screen, it has guided view. It's just, it's awesome. So... After that, I have physical books too, but just to check a couple more off, the Kindle aside. I mean, some of these, like, I buy and it's like, I get sales or there's samples in here. It's just random. But, uh, okay, anyway, <laughs> I can go over that in a different video. I last year reread 2001 Space Odyssey and it was amazing still. So I might continue that because I am wanting to read sci-fi again so gotta start there i'm in the middle of that series can't start 80 things at once okay uh, let's see then otherwise is that it for kindle let's see oh no it's not because we talked about dune we talked about you know what? I don't know where it is. I've got them all downloaded on my Kindle. I just thought I would show, you know, colorful pictures and make it more fun. But Magic 2.0, which, you know, that one's there. The second one. Um, I don't know where it went, but here it is. <laughs> I'm stupid. An Unwelcome Quest, Scott Meyer. Um, Magic 2.0, book number three. I love that series. All right, let's see. Oh, you know, is that technically sci-fi? Whatever. So, is that it for Kindle? I know, this is high quality video production, bro. <laughs> oh, I did mention Ninth House. So I think the last one was just, and where is it? Where is it? My wife just got done reading this and I saw that I had it on Kindle. I didn't even remember picking it up, but hey, tennis book. My wife loves this author. I've never read her them actually i don't know their pronouns sorry about that um no i'm really excited to read this book no clue whether or not i'll like it but my wife loved it so yeah what am i talking about it's it's got to be good right like i would assume anyway now i'm just going to switch over to physical books <clears throat> okay so i mean also physically kindle whatever i also liked how many small books i have so i don't know like i said people like to travel supposedly with the big paperbacks um so then i do have this to count for that uh, we'll get to it but i don't like a lot of bulk it's a reason i love kindle man if you can hear that sound in the background that's my chair if i move at I need a new gaming chair, desk chair, whatever you want to call it. But here's the thing. This one, super excited for, well, 
I should say, I already started it, so, and it's only like, let's see, 170 something? Oh, no, no, 117 pages. Um, I might have this done before we even leave, but it's interesting so far. I'll just say that. Um, but I'm excited for it. I was excited to pick it up. I haven't read him yet. And look how metal the cover for this edition is. Paper Towns. Uh, this would be a reread. <clears throat> but I never actually read it in this version. Uh, I keep this sticker on because it's like, it's sad. I thought the idea, <clears throat> I thought the idea of these one page, oh my goodness, one page, pocket sized books is what I mean. I thought it was so cool. And then here I am not supporting it until I saw one for 75% off. I just, you know, I didn't, I didn't want any at the time. Then I saw it for, you know, basically free, uh, picked it up and I still haven't read it. And I think at least this is what my wife said anyway. Um, she said she hasn't seen them sold in a while. I haven't either. So I'm not sure if they even make these anymore, but I think they were a cool idea. Anyway, I'm going to read it. It makes me think of traveling. I mean, if you've read the book, it, you know, kind of road trip stuff, but no, it just seemed like a vibe. So, and easy enough to throw in my bag. And then keeping with the theme of small books, um, <clears throat> finally read David Sedaris last year and it was amazing. I read Calypso. I loved that book, except for like two things. I could do a short video on that. Um, two funky things. So far though, I still plan on reading him. I did start this one and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to throw that in there. Ah, uh, kind of dark, but no, funny, obviously, because it's David. Okay, so then to check off the boomer paperback on the plane list, I have this. I found this today in a little free library and also uh, it was from an actual library and then, I don't know, got it at a sale or maybe someone just stole it, but <laughs> whatever. Anyway. I got, uh, Along Came a Spider. <laughs> Sorry, I was checking the back for something. Didn't want to out the library. This is the first Alex Cross book. And, uh, like, when I when I saw it in the Little Free Library, I was like, oh, it also says right there, the first. So I didn't see that earlier, but I recognized the name, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's the first one. Because I wanted to pick this up. When I was younger, I read Maximum Ride, and I thought it was, you know, amazing. Well, okay, I read three of them. I'm gonna make a video about that. I read three, I was on the fourth one, and then my dog ate it. Like, that actually happened. I could do a story time about that later or something, I don't know. But then I grow up, I meet my wife, you know, we get married, I left a lot of stuff out. Uh, she was a librarian for like five or six years, and so it's it's five, let's just say five. <laughs> we have all these jokes about Patterson and she doesn't like the guy, right? But it's mostly because she didn't like shelving his books. Um, I can get more into that later too. But one day I was just talking to her and I was like, okay, but neither of us have actually read his books. You can't like hate on him, hate on him. And she's like, nope, I, I still don't like him. I, I don't think that's how it works, right? So I was like, I'm going to pick up one of his books. Then I remembered that I read Maximum Ride, like not that I really forgot the series, I guess I just wasn't considering it. And I was just like, no, I, if anything, we have a fan amongst the two of us. So I thought that was funny. Then tonight, my wife and I were looking it up because I showed her this find and yeah, we, <laughs> we found out that he like uses ghostwriters and all that. So I don't know that that was going on when he wrote this, but man patterson is a whole interesting thing you know anyway i just thought it was funny that i copped a old looking edition of this book and yeah boomer paperback for travel so let's go all right other than that let me just check my list real quick like i said okay well actually no first this is a lot of books no i'm not gonna get to them all but i think i'm gonna get to a lot of them uh, one thing is, I, oh, as far as audiobooks, I will be, <clears throat> uh, I also have that. I'll be listening to, if I have time on the trip, King of Scars. But otherwise, 
if I'm forgetting anything, I mean, I'll post about it, but yeah, that looks like it. If I somehow got through all of that or got bored of all of it, I mean, I got lots of stuff in here, but otherwise, oh dang, this is over 10 minutes now. Isn't that what you're supposed to aim for? I've actually just been doing shorts lately, but I just had so much fun stuff to talk about. <laughs> fun to me, at least, all right? And uh, I just thought I'd make a normal video. I'm excited for our trip, but I'm also excited to just be able to read. Uh, it's going to be cool. It's going to be relaxing. Let's hope. Anyway, man, I hope I didn't forget anything cool. Like, yeah, I listened to a lot of cool books. I, and I made a checklist beforehand, so I think that's it. Man, if you watched this far, thanks. You're cool. Well, it's not like, huh. No, I was going to make a joke there, but whatever. I don't have time to edit this. <laughs> um, if you're still watching, that is super cool. And uh, I don't know. You want to fight about the James Patterson thing? Are you like a huge fan? You just want to fight about my kindle library here what you saw of it dude really anything um i really i really want to fight with you no just kidding i just like to talk to people so if you want to comment down below do it i'll be super happy otherwise uh what's on your tbr i have a ton um yeah that's it have a good night